the past meets the present at the Kochi Art Biennale, one of the biggest events of the cultural calendar in southwest India. It features contemporary works by almost 100 artists from some 30 countries. Center stage is Aspinwall House, a 150-year-old seafront spice warehouse transformed into an art laboratory. The theme, World Explorations, reflects various colonial influences. They come in the form of conceptual pointers that you might have towards ideas of time and history. I mean, at a very simple way, I would think that the biennial does what we do every day when we try to see or understand something. You know, we hold an object, take it close or far in space to understand it or see it. We think back and forth in time all the time to understand where we are. And I think the biennial just exaggerates this. The cavernous, evocative interior enhances the effect of installations such as American poet Aram Saryan's M, the shortest poem in the world. Many works deal with themes of time, the planet and the environment. The Kochi Biennale uses the language of art to explore contemporary works from India and beyond. For Indian artist Valsan Kurmi Koleri, who works with geometrical abstractions derived from the human body, inspiration remains a mystery. Of course, we don't know where we actually get the inspiration, we get the hint. I feel I'm an intuitionist. I get a little hint then I like to work on it. You know, so my work always wants anything going wrong, I know there's something wrong with me. So somehow I'm able to correct myself. The work is like a mirror, you know. Among the big names exhibiting is Mumbai-born Anish Kapoor. His perpetual whirlpool dissension has a mesmerizing effect. Equally captivating is Nikhil Chopra's transformation of one room into a prison from which the artist finally escapes. Elsewhere, Norwegian artist Cecil Tolas uses an entirely different medium in her unique experiential project. Cecil Tolas has done, she's, she had a group of men who were afraid of bodies and while they experienced these attacks of fear, she collected their sweat and then she chemically recreated the smell of that sweat. In another space, the trauma and desperation of refugees is evoked by Vietnamese artist Din Kyu Le. His living archive of photos of the killing fields reflects the Biennale's artistic vision. It is the only non-commercial major art festival which is happening in this country at this moment. So it is a site for experimentation. It is a site of engagement for artists to kind of do uh, larger projects without even thinking about the commercial. So as I said, this Binale is a catalyst for change. I mean, it's almost like a change agent. The Hold Explorations exhibition is described as a swirling experiential promenade through history. The previous Biennale was visited by close to a million people. This edition is open in Kochi until the end of March.